and welcome to Biostock Studio. This week, Spargo Nanomedical announced that the company is entering a new indication with its product candidate Spargo Picks. The candidate is a contrast agent for MRI diagnostics and it will now be tested in endometriosis, a disease that affects about 10% of all women of reproductive age. The average time till diagnostics, until diagnosis, I should say, is seven years. And Spargo's hope is that their product can help improve the diagnostic process. Here to tell us more is Spargo's CDO, Paul Hargreaves. Welcome, Paul. Thank you for having me. So now I talked a lot about endometriosis, but I'm actually going to start by asking you about breast cancer. What can you tell us about the Spargo Picks Zero One study and the results from that study? Of course. So we're very pleased to say that we've now completed that study. It's met all of its primary aims. We've managed to image 14 women with breast cancer, and we've seen good images across the board, and especially with our 20 micromolar Spargo Picks. And turning then to endometriosis, what kind of a disease is this? So endometriosis is sometimes called the missing disease. It affects, as you said, 10% of women, which, which equates to about 176 million women at any one time across the world. It's where the lining of the uterus or the endometriosis, some of the cells appear elsewhere in the body. And it can cause pain, um, severe bleeding, and it's a real challenge for, for women. It's also something that, as you mentioned, takes a very long time to diagnose. Often women just accept the pain. Sometimes they go to the GP and they're diagnosed with something else. And that all adds to the, the seven or so years to actually get to a gynecologist and then to move forwards for real endometriosis investigation. And even then, when we start to investigate it, the current procedures don't give a definitive diagnosis. And that's what we're hoping to do here with Spargo Picks is be able to not only give a good diagnosis earlier, but to give a definitive diagnosis. So lingering a little bit on the diagnostic process, how is endometriosis diagnosed today? So at the moment, it's often to actually get towards the endometriosis diagnosis, you have to exclude many other diseases. Once the physician has decided to exclude those diseases, they then start to look towards the endometriosis diagnosis. It usually starts with imaging, but at the moment, because there's no definitive way of imaging the endometriosis, it then moves forwards into drug treatments and possibly even into keyhole surgery or laparoscopy, which is not the nicest way forwards for somebody not knowing whether or not they actually have endometriosis at that stage. And then the final part, if necessary, is actually surgery. So what is it about your product candidate that you think makes it suitable for, for endometriosis? So the MRI at the moment is actually a very good tool for diagnosing endometriosis, but it's not definitive. What we're hoping is that Spargo Picks will actually be able to show definitively whether the tissues that are showing up in the MRI are endometrial or not. So can you tell us a little bit more about the study that you're carrying out in endometriosis? So we've just actually started the study at Malmo University Hospital, um, where we're looking to um, image 12 or so um, women with suspected endometriosis. And they will go through a series of MRIs and also an ultrasound, which will allow us to compare both the images that we get with Spargo picks, with images without any contrast agents, and also with ultrasound. What are the primary endpoints in the study? So really the primary endpoint that we're looking for is to see whether or not the endometrial tissue lights up. Um, if that works, then we can actually move to further clinical studies where we can definitively assess whether or not histologically that was endometrial tissue. And when do you expect to be able to present uh, results? Well, unfortunately, there's an awful lot of women out there that are suffering th with this. So we hope that the recruitment will be fairly quick. So all being well, the study will finish by the summer. And we're hoping that we can actually present some interim results for the World Conference of Endometriosis in May of next year. And if you could just summarize for us what you hope to be able to present at, at that conference. So what we'd really like to be able to present at that conference is that Spargo picks can be a real asset for the diagnosis of endometriosis. That also, we hope, will help physicians gain a wider knowledge and also women that currently are putting up with the condition without realizing that actually it can be treated. So it's a first step. Then we have found out a little bit more about endometriosis in general and Spargo's uh, new study to help diagnose it in particular. Thank you so much, Paul. Thank you.